Hello there everyone, this is Lilith and welcome back to another one of my videos for all to new. It has been a while, but I'm so happy to be back and share some new inspiration with you. Today I'll be creating a layout using one of all to new's newest products, which is a hot foil plate. Here I'll be using the Sunburst Doily hot foil plate and I'll show you how you can integrate that into a scrapbook layout. So sit back and enjoy. So Altenew has released some brand new products uh, just a couple of days ago, two days ago to be precise. And uh, these are the hot foil plates. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to take the Starburst hot foil plate and just cut out a piece of foil that will fit over the plate. I'm going to be using the Spellbinders hot foil system, glimmer hot foil system, and I'm going to heat up my plate. So first things first, once the first button is green, I'll heat it up. Then I will press the timer, which will flicker. And then once that has a steady green light, I can add my foil. You're going to add the, the foil side, side down onto your hot plate, pop on the cardstock, and then pop on the extra plates and just run that through your die cut machine. So once that's done, all you have to do is peel off the foil. So let's have a look. And there you have it. Now you can get lots of different colored foils and do this process as many times as you wish. I'm going to be, cre I'm creating three of these sunburst doily shapes. You also get a little uh, uh, tool to pick up your hot foil plate, which will let cool down. And then you can just pop it back into the box. So I'm going to cut out this doily with a coordinating die set. Now the die is a little bit larger, so you will, will have a nice edge around, a nice border. I really like it with this doily set. This will enable you to see that nice foiled shape. So I'm going to cut this out three times and I can start working on my layout. The first thing I'm going to do is create a ledge. I do this quite often with layouts. I think it adds some, um, grounding to the layout and it enables you to add lots of elements to it. So I'm going to use this lovely marbled washi tape from Altenew and add some of these lovely colors. These are some washi tapes from the rose petal set and I'm just going to use a couple of these and don't be afraid to tear them just to add a little bit of extra detail. How do you, use, how do you sorry, use your washi tapes? And which are your favorites? I would love to know in the comment section below. So now that I've created my ledge, I'm going to start adding my little doily shapes here. I'm going to add one in the center and then I'm going to cut the other one in half and just place that on the top and the bottom. So this is the general design of my layout and now I can start adding all the different elements like my photo, my embellishment and my title. For my title, I will be using some vellum and I will cu cut two large letters out of that, a B and an E, and I will just staple those to the scent doily. I'm also going to create some embellishments. I love using butterflies on my layouts, so I'm going to use some of that same washi and just pop it onto that colored cardstock and cut out some butterflies. Um, I used the, one of the smaller butterflies from the Mix and Match Mariposa die set. I'm going to arrange those butterflies on my layout until I'm happy with the overall look. I also pulled out a couple of embellishments from the Enjoy the Ride scrapbook collection and decided to go with a cute little envelope. Once that is done, I'm going to add a couple of enamel dots. I decided to bring in a little bit more of that lovely green and then I'll add some handwritten journaling. And that's it. I hope you enjoyed this little video. For more information on all the products you use, just have a look in the comment section below or go to the Mixed Media Scrapbook blog. Have a lovely day and I hope to see you very soon with more inspiration from all to new. And before I forget, don't forget to subscribe. Bye bye everyone. Have a lovely day. Stay safe and see you soon.
crafters, I hope you enjoyed that video. If you want to see more, don't forget to subscribe to our YouTube channel and hit the notification bell so you don't miss anything. Thanks for watching!